Jamua Arabic Salat al Salat al Jamua Friday prayer is a congregational prayer Salat that Muslims hold every Friday just after noon instead of the Zuhr prayer Muslims pray ordinarily 5 times each day according to the sun sky path regardless of time zones Topic <laughs> meaning Salat al Juma, in some areas transliterated as Salat al Jamu'ah, the Friday prayer, is a religious obligation which takes the place of the daily afternoon prayer, Zur prayer, Arabic Salat as Zur, on Friday. It is one of the most exalted Islamic rituals and one of its confirmed obligatory acts. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> etymology. The name al jamuah is derived from the verb idama which means the gathering together of people. Topic: <laughs> Name variations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Obligation. There is consensus among all the Muslims regarding the Friday prayer Salat al being wajib in accordance with the above quoted Quranic verse, as well as the many traditions narrated both by Shi'i and Sunni sources. According to the majority of Sunni schools and some Shi'ite jurists, Friday prayer is a religious obligation, but their differences were based on to whether its obligation is conditional to the presence of the ruler or his deputy in it or if it is wajib unconditionally. The Hanafis and the Imamis state, the presence of the ruler or his deputy is necessary, the Friday prayer is not obligatory if neither of them is present. The Imamis require the ruler to be just adil, otherwise his presence is equal to his absence. To the Hanafis, his presence is sufficient even if he is not just. The Shafis, Malikis and Hanbalis attach no significance to the presence of the ruler. Moreover, it has been stated that Jamu'ah is not obligatory for the following groups of people, old men, children, women, slaves who were present until Islam banned it, travelers, the sick, blind and disabled, as well as those who are outside the limit of two farsakhs. In the Quran It is mentioned in the Quran, O ye who believe. When the call is proclaimed to prayer on Friday, the day of assembly, Yam al Jamu'ah, hasten earnestly to the remembrance of Allah, and leave off business and traffic, that is best for you if ye but knew, and when the prayer is finished, then may ye disperse through the land, and seek of the bounty of Allah, and celebrate the praises of Allah often and without stint, that ye may prosper. In Sunnah From Hadith Narrated Abu Huraira, The Prophet said, "...on every Friday the angels take their stand at every gate of the mosques to write the names of the people chronologically i.e. according to the time of their arrival for the Friday prayer and when the Imam sits on the pulpit they fold up their scrolls and get ready to listen to the sermon." Muslim Ibn al-Hajjaj and Naysaybori relates that the Islamic prophet Muhammad used to read Surah 87 al -Allah and Surah 88, al ghashiyah in Eid prayers and also in Friday prayers. If one of the festivals fell on a Friday, Muhammad would have made sure to read these two surahs in the prayers. Muhammad is quoted as saying the best day the sun rises over is Friday, on it Allah created Adam. On it, he was made to enter paradise, on it he was expelled from it, and the last hour will take place on no other day than Friday, Ahmad and at Tirmithi. Az ibn Az, narrated that Muhammad said, whoever performs ghusl on Friday and causes his wife to do ghusl, then goes early to the mosque and attends from the beginning of the kutbah and draws near to the imam and listens to him attentively, Allah will give him the full reward of fasting all the days of a year and observing night vigil on each of its nights for every step that he took towards the mosque. Ibn Kuzayma, Ahmad In Sunni Islam The Jamu'ah prayer is half the Zur prayer, for convenience, preceded by a Qutbah a sermon as a technical replacement of the two reduced raka'at of the ordinary Zur prayer, and followed by a congregational prayer, led by the Imam. In most cases the Khatib also serves as the Imam. Attendance is strictly incumbent upon all adult males who are legal residents of the locality. The muezzin mu makes the call to prayer, called the adhan, usually 15 to 20 minutes prior to the start of Juma. When the khatib takes his place on the minbar, a second adhan is made. 
The Khatib is supposed to deliver two sermons, stopping and sitting briefly between them. In practice, the first sermon is longer and contains most of the content. The second sermon is very brief and concludes with a dua, after which the muezzin calls the akama. This signals the start of the main two rakat prayer of Jamu'ah. In Shia Islam In Shia Islam, Salat al-Jamu'ah is wajib takiri at the time of occultation, which means that we have an option to offer Jamu'ah prayers, if its necessary conditions are fulfilled, or to offer Zur prayers. Hence, if Salat al-Jamu'ah is offered then it is not necessary to offer Zur prayer. It is also recommended by Shiite scholars to attend Jamu'ah as it will become wajib after the appearance of Imam al-Mahdi and Jesus Christ Isa. Shiite imamite attach high significance to the presence of a just ruler or his representative or faqih and in the absence of a just ruler or his representative and a just faqih, there exists an option between performing either the Friday or the Zur prayer, although preference lies with the performance of Friday prayer. In the history of Islam According to the history of Islam and the report from Abdullah bn Abbas narrated from the Prophet saying that, the permission to perform the Friday prayer was given by Allah before Hijra, but the people were unable to congregate and perform it. The Prophet wrote a note to Musab b. Umair, who represented the Prophet in Madinah to pray to Raka'at in congregation on Friday that is, Jamu'ah. Then, after the migration of the Prophet to Medina, the Jamu'ah was held by him. For Shiites, historically, their clergy discouraged Shiites from attending Friday prayers. According to them, communal Friday prayers with a sermon were wrong and had lapsed along with several other religious practices until the return of their twelfth Imam, Muhammad al Mahdi. However, among others, Shiite modernist Muhammad ibn Muhammad Mahdi al Khalisi demanded that Shiites should more carefully observe Friday prayers in a step to bridge the gap with Sunnis. Later, the practice of communal Friday prayers was developed, and became standard thereafterwards, by Ruhollah Khomeini in Iran and later by Muhammad Muhammad Sadiq al Sadr in Iraq. They justified the practice under the newly promoted guardianship of the Islamic jurists' doctrine. When al-Sadr installed Friday prayer imams in Shia-majority areas—a practice not traditional in Iraqi Shiism and considered revolutionary, if not heretical—it put him at odds with the Shia religious establishment in Najaf. Under both Khomeini and al-Sadr, political sermons would be heard. <laughs> <laughs> Attendance rates The communal prayers have higher compliance of worshippers, as compared to the non-communal ritual prayers. In Turkey for example, the ritual prayers are performed regularly by 44% of the whole adult population, whereas Friday prayers were regularly attended by 56% 25% responded that they sometimes attended and 19% that they didn't. According to the book Everything You Know About God is Wrong, the Disinformation Guide to Religion, surveys conducted by Iran's Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance, less than 1.4% of Iranians attend Friday prayers. Conditions An accurate Jamu'ah was said to fulfill certain conditions, including the follows Friday prayer must be prayed in congregational. There must be at least five better seven persons including the Imam. According to some Shiite law only one Friday prayer may be prayed in a radius of 3 miles 720 yards. If two prayers are held within this distance, the later will be null and void. There must be two sermons delivered by the Imam before the prayer and attentively listened to by at least four or six persons. Topic. Format Kutbah Jamu'ah Kutbah is refers to as a talk or sermon delivered in mosques before the Friday prayer. The sermon consists of two distinct parts and between the two parts of the sermon the Khatib speaker must sits down for a short time of rest. Among the rules that had been stated for Kutbah Jamu'ah one is that there should not be an undue interval or irrelevant action intervening between the sermon and the prayer. It should preferably be in Arabic, especially the Quranic passage which has to be recited in the sermon. 
Otherwise, it should be given in the language understood by the majority of the faithful who are there. But in this case the preacher should first recite in Arabic qur anic verses and formulas praising God and Muhammad." Quote, According to the majority of Shiite and Sunni doctrine, the contents of Friday sermon must contain the following, the praise and glorification of Allah. Invocation of blessings on Muhammad and his progeny. Enjoining the participants taqwa, admonition and exhortations. Reciting short surah from Quran also, in addition to the above said issues, the followings were advice to be address in the second sermon, what will be useful for all Muslims in this world and hereafter. The important events all over the world in favor or disfavor of Muslims Special attention should be paid to issues in the Muslim world. Political and economical aspect of the society and worldwide. Quote, quote, among the manner of Jamu'ah is that the attendants must listen attentively to the sermon and avoid any action that might distract their attentions. <laughs> Jamu'ah prayer Jamu'ah prayer consists of two rakats prayer just like morning farj prayer, offer immediately after kutbah sermon, and it is a replacement of zur prayer. According to Shiite doctrine it is advisable sunnet to recite Surah al-Jamu'ah in the first rakat and Surah al-Munafikun in the second rakat, after Surah al-Hamd. <laughs> Kunit According to Shiite doctrine, two kunit raising one hands for supplication during salat and is specially recommended during salat al-Jamu'ah. The first kunit offers in the first rakat before ruku and the second one offer in the second rakat after rising from ruku. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Significance in tradition. There are many hadiths traditions reported on the significance of jamu'ah among whom are quoted below. The prophet has been reported saying, "The jamu'ah is the pilgrimage hajj of the poor." The Prophet also said, "...whoever misses three Jamu'ah, being indifferent to them, Allah seals his heart." It has been related from Ahmad that the Prophet said, a worshipper who washes fully on Friday then comes to Salat al Jumu Nyu Ah in the early time, then listens to the Imam's speeches and does not do anything wrong, Allah will grant this worshipper the reward of one year of fasting and prayer. Furthermore, Prophet Muhammad was quoted saying, Any Muslim who dies during the day or night of Friday will be protected by Allah from the trial of the grave, at Tirmithi and Ahmad. Also, hadith related by al-Bukhari, quoted the Prophet saying that, In the day of Friday, there exists an hour that if a worshipper asks from Allah, anything he wishes in this hour, Allah will grant it and does not reject it, as long as he or she did not wishing for bad. Similarly, it is narrated that the Prophet said, "...Friday has twelve hours, one of which is our where dua are granted for Muslim believers. This hour is thought to be in the afternoon, after ASR prayer." Topic see also Church Attendance Islamic Calendar Shabbat Jewish Weekly Congregation for Prayer Topic References Topic External links Juma Mubarak Information and Juma Mubarak Wallpapers Photos, Shia, Sunni Muslims hold Joint Friday Prayer in Marnuli, Georgia Juma Mubarak Practical Rulings of Salat al-Jamu'ah Friday Jamu'ah Prayer